Hello, good morning viewers. In this tutorial, we are going to find the factorized form of this cubic polynomial. There are different ways of doing that, but what I will be doing is by relating the coefficients. But first of all, let us find one of the roots of this cubic polynomial. You can see that the leading coefficient is 1. Therefore, the values of x we are going to use are the factors of the constant, negative 6. And the factors are plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, plus or minus 6. We substitute for 1. If it doesn't work, we substitute for negative 1. We move to positive 2, negative 2 in that order. Okay, if x is equal to 1, let us start with that. If x is equal to 1, we have 1 to the third power plus 2 multiplied by 1 to the second power minus 5 multiplied by 1 minus 6. If this is equal to 0, then 1 is said to be one of the roots. Okay, let us simplify. This is equal to 1 plus 2 minus 5 minus 6. Is this equal to 0? This and this is 3. This and this is negative 11. This is equal to negative 8. And negative 8 is not equal to 0. Therefore, 1 is not a root. Now, let us test for negative 1. So, if x is negative 1, we have negative 1 to the third power plus 2 multiplied by negative 1 to the second power minus 5 multiplied by negative 1 and minus 6 is this equal to 0 let's simplify negative 1 to the third power is still negative 1 plus negative 1 to the second power is positive 1 times 2 is 2 then minus minus is plus we have 5 times 1 equal to 5 Minus 6, is this equal to 0? This and this is 1. This and this is negative 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. And hence, we say negative 1 is one of the roots of this cubic polynomial. If negative 1 is a root, therefore, x plus 1 is a factor. If x plus 1 is a factor, we are going to come up with a quadratic polynomial, which when multiply with this linear function, we get the required polynomial. So that's what we are going to do next. So this implies that x plus 1, which is a factor, multiplied by another factor, which is a quadratic polynomial. The general form is ax squared plus bx plus c. If we multiply this with this, we have to get the required polynomial, x to the third power plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. So now let us distribute this over this. We have x multiplied by ax squared, which is the same thing as ax to the third power. x multiplied by bx is bx squared. Then x multiplied by c is cx. Then we take the constant positive 1 and distribute over this polynomial. It will not change it. It will just repeat. ax squared plus bx plus c. And to the right hand side we have x to the third power plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. Let us collect the like terms. We have ax to the third power. This and this are related because they have x squared. We can even factor out a plus b. So we have a plus b. Then outside we have x squared. Then cx and bx are common. Plus b plus c multiplied by x. Then the constant c. And to the right we still have x to the third power plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. So now let us relate the coefficients. The leading coefficient to the left is a and the leading coefficient to the right is 1 naturally. So we have a equal to 1. The coefficient of x squared to the left is a plus b 
and that of the right hand side is 2. So we are going to relate them. A plus B is equal to 2. But remember that A is equal to 1 from here. So we can substitute it back. We have 1 plus B equal to 2. This implies that B is equal to 1 if you subtract 1 from both sides. And we can see that C is equal to negative 6 because these are the constant we have. So now we have obtained A, B, C. Let us go ahead and flog them back into this expression here. This is equal to x plus 1 multiplied by a is equal to 1, so we just have x squared here, plus b is also 1, so we have x here, then minus 6. This is the factorized form of this, but this is also a quadratic which we can factorize. We have x plus 1, then multiply by two factors, which all depends on x, x and x. Let us think of two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we get negative 6. And when added off together, we get the coefficient of the middle term, which is 1. The numbers are 3 and 2, 3 and 2. The sign are negative and positive. So now this is the complete factorized form of this cubic polynomial. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.